Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Shaw with Colorado State University Extension and I'm here today to talk about STEM Power Kits and the specific lessons that we have developed to help you present fun and engaging science to your students. Then we switch to light being important for life. And I have uh, seeds and pots there and you're going to conduct several experiments with those. Uh, the first experiment is just looking at do plants uh, do better when they have access to the sunlight or do they do just as fine with uh, plants that are in the dark. One of the things that you'll need to do is get recycled boxes just big enough to house the plants uh, and then you line the boxes with black construction paper just to make sure that it becomes dark in there and the construction paper is included in the kit and I would cut off the, the um, flaps and uh, cover it with aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is light proof and so it's a way to actually ensure that the plant isn't getting any light. When you when the students open it up to, to water it they will see very very early on that it's not germinating like the plant in the in the window is doing. And then um, to support mass standards, there is graphing. So after this experiment, which runs about a month, uh, they then count the number of leaves. It's a nice, easy way. It supports them in their math uh, learning to count. And then they make just a simple bar graph, the leaves from the dark plant versus the leaves from the light plant. So it's the total number of leaves going up versus the total number of leaves going up for the dark plant. So you might get zero for the dark plant and 50 for the light plant. So there will be very obvious uh, how plant is growing. The students can look at, they start associating what they did with the graph that they just built. Now we also talk about plants uh, the, the sun provides warmth. So what is better, a warm plant or a cold plant for growth? Um, and the same thing, we put the plant facing the window uh, in a, a sort of a greenhouse. So there's a plastic wrap to cover the box opening, which will trap the heat inside the box. And the other one, we just put it in a box open to the air, so that box will be cooler. You can take the thermometers that you have in the class and um, put them on the insides of the boxes so that they can see which is warmer and which is cooler. And then the same thing where they count the number of leaves for plant growth to see which one uh, thrived better, warm plants or cool plants. Now some plants do better in cool weather and others in warm weather, but generally plants that are warm do grow better than plants that are cold. So. Um, those are the experiments and uh, we'll show you some of the, the techniques for, for the planting. I hope that you had fun with these STEM power kits. I hope your students had a blast learning more about science and best of all, I hope those underlying concepts that the standards address have been easily met.